Hey guys, welcome to Free Games of the Month. November's games of the month are Nuka. Jesus, that's a lot. Nuka. Nukazar Kiwami, Bulletstorm, and again about three bearded blokes. Unfortunately, I won't be looking at the three three bearded men thingy, Bob, because I can't bother. No, don't get paid for it. So, yeah. um, first game I'm checking out is Nukazar Nuka, the Japanese one. This game is a Sega game, and is obviously Japanese, like I just said. The voicing is done all in Japanese, but they're subtitles in English. So if you're a wee, like Charlie or Milton, then you'll really enjoy this game. That's just the game's language. The game is set in a city. No clue which one. We'll just say it's Dudley Park, because there's lots of fights, and it's dodgy as. I personally found this game hard to get into, so I really think it's bad. Just more different words, but like I can't say them. The fighting is done like a normal beat em up type game, with square as punch and a triangle as grab, and all that type of stuff. The characters aren't really amazing either. They all feel like they're walking, talking pieces of cardboard. So, yeah, that's the Japanese one. The next game we're going to check out is Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm is a weird game. I didn't like it in the beginning, but I couldn't get off of it. So, I kind of liked it, I guess. The story is kind of weird. Not weird, the right word isn't weird. The right word would be like shooty, floaty, chaotic. So far, I figured that the character you play as and his blokes have a bounty because they're bad people, right? And it's big. And they come across this big ship, people die. Like, lots of them. Like, seriously. Like, your mates get killed, made by boomer things. Like, one of your friends blows up, one of them gets stabbed, one of them gets blown up again. There's lots of stuff. Um, for life of me, I can't really remember who made the game, but they managed to make it feel like a, like, Doom, or Duke Nukem, or Doom and Duke Nukem put together, really. The character voices are quite like, plain and like cardboardy as well but it kind of works because they're like military and the humor kind of works with it like the two characters that you have in the beginning are like that they really bounce off each other and it works really well with the game um the goriness of the game really makes it stand out like a white man in a prison um the game pacing is really fast but like I personally think that's good because most of the game is just killing so like yeah in the game there's a leash that like tugs things towards you so if you want to give them a hug then there's your weapon then you can get rid of their head as well that's pretty fun I enjoy the game I actually quite recommend it now because my mates are the only ones that actually watch these videos also, they're looking at a recent masterpiece of a game. That's right, Black Ops 4. Back in, that game belongs in the bin. I'll actually talk about Red Dead 2. You already know the basic info. It's a very tough bug kills You want that touch John there, you want to ask the guys to get revenge by John at the end of the game. Get the oh, I don't know. Um, the game's vastness and missions keep you super busy and entertaining. While the missions got repetitive, I still actually really enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed fighting in the bars and shooting up the towns like an American school. The game rewards you for being good, but it makes it so easy to be bad. Like, helping someone takes ages, but shooting them 14 times in the nuts with the Lancaster right repeater is so easy. Before the game was released, an emphasis was put on the relationship between you and your horse, but it's not really there in the game. I feel like the game was, like, it's almost perfect, but it was rushed, and at the end, it was, like, kind of pushed out the doors if they didn't want to do it anymore. To be really, like, just, you know, to be a really small time. So overall, Japanese game is poo, Bulletstorm is good, Red Dead 2, great.
Oh, God damn.